Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install MariaDB 11.4 on Ubuntu 24.0 LTS version. First open any app browser, then go to MariaDB.org. Click on download, click on ok, select the MariaDB server repository, then select, choose a distribution. I am on Ubuntu 24.04, it is Noble version, so select 24.04 Noble, then select the MariaDB version, see the latest stable version is 11.4, select it, scroll down, we have to run these commands one by one, first one is, it is going to install transport HTTPS and curl, second is, it is going to create directory for hearings, then it is going to download or import the repository. Then we have to create the MariaDB source file. After that we have to update the packages and we have to install the MariaDB server. These, these are the steps that we are going to perform to install the MariaDB 11.4. So copy one by one, copy and execute them. Open terminal, paste it, hit enter, then provide the password of sudo user. Type A for confirmation. See, call is already the nearest version. So it is going to install this apt H transport HTTPS. Type and hit enter. It is success. Now create this directory. Import this one. It is done. Now we have to create this directory. Okay. So copy this one. sudo va paste entire path hit enter press i to insert mode then copy all this text copy paste it then save the file escape colon wq exclamation it is done now we have to update the packages by running this command sudo apt get update it is done now we have to install the mariadb server sudo apt get install mariadb hyphen server hit enter type 5 for confirmation and hit enter We have successfully installed MariaDB server. Let us verify. Control L to clear screen. sudo systemctl status mariadb.service. Hit enter. See, MariaDB service is running and it is enabled. Let us connect to MariaDB. sudo MariaDB. Control L to clear screen. sudo MariaDB. See, we have successfully connected. The first step after connecting to MariaDB is we have to set the password for root account. Alter user root at the rate localhost identified by provide new password. The success now exit now connect MariaDB. hyphen u root hyphen p then provide the above password in your case give the strong password see we have successfully connected now show databases see these are the default databases comes with mariadb installation let us create a database create database up to schools see we have successfully created now verify again by running the same 
load databases command see new database auto schools is added now switch to this new database use is the keyword then provide the database name. put semicolon see now database name has been changed before it was none okay now let us create some tables before that verify the list of the tables in this new database it will be empty see empty because it's a fresh database let us create a table create table student s name int primary Show tables. See new table is there. Let us insert into student values. Insert one more row. Insert one more row with same S number. This time it will throw error because duplicate entry for primary because here S number is defined with primary keys. Primary key. If any column is defined with primary key or any key, it won't allow duplicate. So we can't give the same value for the S number because see here I have already given the same number. So let us give the unique number. See we have successfully inserted. Now verify the data, select star from student, put semicolon for the statement completion. See, we have these three rows. But see here, star means it retrieves all the columns and values, all the columns of the table. But if you want only column names, you have to give the column names like this. Student. See, we have selected, but still if you want only use the particular single column, so then we have to give says name from student. See, we got the only one. Now create a user. Create user James and the rate local host identified by password. Here password is we have successfully created, but let us verify the list of the users. Try to run show users. This will throw error because there is no command like show users. But we can get the list of the users by running the command select star from mysql.user. See, we got the more output. Let me select user from mysql.user. See, first these three are the default users comes with mysql installation but this is the user we have created let us exit and try to connect with this james user exit mariadb hyphen u then james then hyphen p then provide the password of this james user we have successfully connected to mariadb but we won't be able to connect to auto schools let us try to switch to auto schools database see access is denied for the user James, because we haven't granted the privileges. I will create another video how to grant privileges for the user on, on a particular database. Okay, so to exit, we have to give the exit command. We can also connect to MariaDB by using DB or ID SQL or MySQL workbench. I will keep the link how to install MariaDB, DB or MySQL workbench on Ubuntu. You can go through them and you can install and you can connect to MariaDB. So the last step that I am going to show you how to stop, start and restart MariaDB on Ubuntu. Control L to clear screen. Sudo system CTL status MariaDB hit enter. See it is running and it is started 7 minutes ago. Okay. Go to quit from this output. Control L. Now let us stop it. Sudo system CTL stop MariaDB hit enter now let us verify the status see MariaDB server is down it is down by 4 seconds ago here also it is saying inactive or dead q to quit let us start it but also try to connect it whenever it is stopped 
Maria DB hyphen U root hyphen P. Then provide the password of this root account. See, cannot con connect through this socket. Okay. Let us start it. Sudo system CTL start Maria DB. Now try to connect it. See, we have successfully connected. Let me let us execute exit. Now verify the status. See, MariaDB started 12 seconds ago. The last step is we will see how to restart sudo system CTL. Restart MariaDB. Hit enter. Verify the status. See, we have restarted MariaDB one second ago. And the status is taking your SQL state request now. Okay, you took it, control L to the screen. Let me show you the version. You root hyphen P. Select version. See, this is the version. So, in this video, we have seen how to install and configure MariaDB 11.4 on Ubuntu 24.04 LH version. Then, we have seen how to create database and its objects. Then, we have seen how to create a user and connect to MariaDB with that user. Then we have seen how to stop, start and restart MariaDB on Ubuntu 24.04 LDS version. For more MariaDB or MySQL videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.